What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial of the Wealthbox CRM specifically aimed for financial advisors. So if you go to their website, that's wealthbox.com, you'll land on their homepage right here where they'll promise you a CRM that will actually enjoy with powerful features and intuitive and modern design and interface. So they do tell you that they are the number one rated CRM for financial advisors and they won many awards here. And scrolling down even more, you can see some of the features and highlights of the platform here, such as contact management. You can organize notes, emails, files, and even financial information quickly and easily. You have the Wealthbox mail. You can connect your existing email to Wealthbox in a two-way sync for amazing productivity. You can build and manage your pipeline by stage in a sleek drag and drop interface. Also, you can customize workflows and build templates for business processes efficiently. You can also have activity streams, task managing and creating tasks. You can sync your calendar and create custom individual and group views. You can get advanced reports and insights. And you can see all the features right here. Now, some of the companies that do trust them, as well as some testimonials and some platforms that they do integrate with. And here you can read more about why switching from other popular CRM platforms, such as, for example, why switching from Salesforce. You can go ahead and compare Wealthbox to Salesforce. You can compare Wealthbox to Redtail and other CRMs. And you can learn more about importing data from Outlook and CSV files. So here, let's take a look at their pricing pretty quickly before I show you the steps you need to create an account. So if we go to pricing here, you can see here that they have four plans, basic, pro, premier, and enterprise. The basic plan is for $59 per user per month, pro plan for $75 per user per month, premier for $99 per user per month. And for your enterprise, you need to contact them to get the pricing. Now, you can go ahead and uh, compare all plans features to know which one is best suited for your business. So here a full comparison between all the plans. So I'm going to start my 14 days free trial. Let's say you want to subscribe to the basic starter CRM plan. Click on free 14 days free trial or you can book a demo if you want to learn more about the platform. Get started from here or log in if you do already have an account. So I'll click here on the basic try for 14 days. And here you just need to add your work email and your password. So I'm going to add them pretty quickly. Okay, get started now. Now you need to add some information, my first name, last name, and the firm's name. So I'm going to add them here. Okay, for firm name, let me say how to simple. Okay, continue. And here, which CRM are you uh, currently using? Let's say I don't use any CRM. Continue. How many CRM users are in your firm? Let's say one to two. Now I need to add my phone number and my country and state. So I'm going to add my phone number pretty quickly as well as my state. So continue. Who is your custodian or broker dealer? Uh, let's say I don't have any broker dealer. Okay, continue and you can skip this question. How did you learn about us? Let's say YouTube from YouTube video or you can choose whichever you want. It doesn't make any difference. Submit. And now it's complete. Now you can take a tour here. Click to take a tour of the platform. So if I click on take a tour here, they give me some insights. So this is my navigation menu where I get to the different sections of my dashboard or my account. And this is the publisher where I can enter updates, new contact and add anything. And this is my workspace, my account settings, help and support. And finally, here's some step I need to get started. So complete the sign up tour. Okay, the finish tour. Now it's completed. Now here I need to add or I need to finish these steps in order to uh, fully complete signing up or creating my account, add my profile photo, learn about Wealthbox mail, invite team members and so on. So uh, let me start here from the menu here. We have your home where you have like your timeline. So I just joined Wealthbox and I've added my uh, company name. That's how to sample and any update will appear here. So here I have I can add updates here. I can add new contacts here. So add the name, nickname, Marshall States, company and household email address and any details to add this uh, contact. I have can here add a task here. So task name if it repeats when it's due, the priority category, add a description, attach a file, and so on. 
Here I can create a new event, add the event name, category, date, uh, status, location, add description, and so on. And I can create new opportunity as well. So here, uh, this is all on my home page. If I go to email, you can see here that the wealth box mail feature is only available for the pro. We got the basic plan. However, we can still upgrade to pro for free. So if I click here on upgrade for free, okay, confirm my plan change. Of course, it's for free as long as I'm in the 14 days free trial. So here, okay, let's dismiss it. So here I have, I can sync my individual mail or uh, sync a shared email address if I want to. In the contacts here, and as you can see here, they generate multiple sample contacts for you to uh, see how it works. And you can go ahead and click on add contact here to add contacts uh, manually. So you add the name, nickname, and every detail we saw earlier in the home where we were adding contacts. So if you go back to home, add contact is the same page. Let's go back to contacts and add a contact. You'll see here, these are the same options. Now. Um, let's go back to contacts once again. You can even import contacts from a CSV, Excel, Outlook, and more, or export your existing contacts to a CSV file. And you can here view all the contacts or people, companies, households, and trusts. And you can order them by uh, first name, last name, occupation, and many other options. So uh, here they are, as, you, as I told you, some sample contacts. You cannot interact with them. You can only view how it looks like. So they showcase here the name with a photo and the position here with the phone number, email, and tags that you add. Now, if you go to tasks, here there are no tasks. I can add a task here. And I get the same fields that I got where I was adding tasks from the home screen here from the uh, bar at the top. So add the task name, the due date, priority, category, and so on. And you can view all your tasks here, filter them by upcoming or completed. You can view the task workflow steps and task and flow step workflow steps as well. Now here in the workflows, I need to add a template in order to start a workflow. So if I click on add template, I can add the workflow name. If it's sequential, add the workflow for contact, opportunity or project, add description and add steps here. Now let's go to calendar. And here I have a calendar of all my due tasks and uh, deals. So I can view here the monthly view. This is uh, today. I can view a weekly view to better view the times of the day in the task. And I can even get a daily view to get a more detailed view of this specific day. Now I can here show or hide specific event categories if I want to. Now here the opportunities. I can view all my opportunities in a drag and drop list view. So here you have, for example, the lists are evaluation, identify decision makers, qualification, needs analysis and review. So this is my pipeline, the default pipeline. I can manage all my pipelines from here. Okay, let's go back. And here, as you see, they gave me some sample uh, opportunities that uh, to show me how it looks like. Of course, I cannot interact with them or like drag and drop them. Usually when you add your own opportunities, you can drag and drop them between stages or lists here. Now here I have projects. Of course, I don't have any projects yet. If I click here to add a project, I can add a project name and description and add it and then edit it afterwards. Now in the files here, I can view all my files that I uploaded. The cloud services, I can view all the files on the cloud services the Wealthbox cloud. I, of course, I don't have any files. I can attach files from here from other cloud uh, services such as Dropbox, uh, Box, Google Drive, or from my own computer, uploaded from my own computer. And here I have the reports and analysis where I can view all my reports and analytics. Of course, uh, it doesn't show anything because this is a newly created account. I don't have anything to show. And finally, on my dashboard, I need to upgrade to the Premiere again in order to view this service. Of course, as I told you, you can upgrade for free for the remaining 14 days trial. So if I click on Upgrade to Premiere, confirm my plan change, and I can add a dashboard from here. So if I click on Add Dashboard, as you can see the title, I can add a title, View as a Dashboard Viewer or All Users, visible to everyone or only me, and I can select some reports to show here.
So that was pretty much it. A quick walkthrough or uh, overview of the Wealthbox CRM platform and its different features and benefits.